Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this video, we are going to discuss the solar system models labs, what look which looks at how we have understood the solar system from the geocentric model of ancient times to the heliocentric model. Now for the actual lab work that you're going to do, we're going to look at the heliocentric model. So you will need these sections here and will not need to worry about looking at those unless you have a desire to go back and look at how things were understood. So what we're going to look at and you will need a couple of these, you will need some of the background material for some of the earlier questions. And then the planetary configuration simulator is what we will be using for much of the lab. And that's of course what we want to take a look at here. So let's go ahead and let that load and see what we have here. And what we find is that like with many of the other labs, you will have a variety of different uh, windows within it. And in fact, you'll have your diagram here showing the orbit. Here you're seeing the strip of the zodiac. So the constellations of the zodiac present and the location of the sun and the planet under those. Here you can adjust the orbit size and you can use the presets to select specific planets. You can adjust the speed of the animation and then you have some of the different uh, configurations that we will look at uh, things like opposition and conjunction and quadrature and here you can have them stopped. Now one interesting thing that you can do is that if you need to pause them if you're trying to look at times you can actually pause them for a number of seconds when those configurations occur so you don't miss them. So we can look at some of the examples here and let's look at an example that if we set this uh, observing from the Earth and say looking at the planet Mars. So now we are at Earth which is the blue here and then Mars is this one and then we can then let the controls go and in fact I will set this to just pause for a couple of seconds as it reaches each configuration. And when we start the animation, we will see right now we are at the configuration of opposition. So opposition is when the Earth here has the planet on one side and the sun on the other. So the planet and the sun are opposite to each other in the sky. That will show up here as being 180 degrees apart. Now if we run this forward a little bit, we can start the animation animation. And now we're going to pause that there. And we are at the position of quadrature. Now quadrature occurs when the planet is 90 degrees away from the sun. So from the Earth, there's the sun from the Earth. Here's the planet and they are at a 90 degree or a right angle. And you will see that 90 degrees here. And in this case, it will actually tell you that it is 90 degrees east. There is actually an eastern quadrature. And previous to this, there was a western quadrature, depending on what part of the sky the planet is in. So in this case, if you were looking uh, from the Earth, the planet would be to the east of the sun. Now we can go ahead and let it run forward again and find that we'll look for the next configuration. And now they're getting closer and closer together and we reach conjunction. Conjunction is when the two objects are in the same direction in the sky. So here's our Earth. And the sun is here. And so is the planet. So they are in the same direction in the sky. That means the angle between them will be zero degrees. And that allows you to then see them. You would not be able to see the planet. It would be in the same direction as the, as the sun. So it would be blotted out by the sun's brightness. So we can see how they're moving around over the course of a year. Now this is for a superior a superior planet, one further from the Earth. There, it is slightly different if you look at an, what we call an inferior planet or one that is closer, such as Mercury. And in fact, you'll see that the uh, terminology is same is similar, except 
uh, there's a few it's similar, but there are some things that do not match up. So for example, you now have conjunction, you can have inferior conjunction or superior conjunction. There is no opposition for an inferior planet. We also do not have quadrature. We have a greatest elongation in the West and in the East. So there are other terminology that apply to an interior planet. And we can see uh, those and a superior conjunction is when the Earth sees the planet on the other side of the sun. Inferior conjunction would be when the planet was here in between the Earth and the sun. So this would be the inferior conjunction location here. So you're going to be able to run those and look at some of these different simulations uh, over the course of the lab exercise. You'll also need this counter. Sometimes it'll ask you to count to determine the length of the year, either the sidereal or the synodic year. There's two different ones we'll be looking at. And what you'll do is run this, for example, from superior conjunction to superior conjunction again. So as we let the simulation run, it will stop at each elongation, then inferior conjunction, and then it will stop at the greatest western elongation. And then finally, it will get back to superior conjunction again. And if we stop it, then we can find, as an example here, what is the synodic period of Merc of Mercury, which is 117.6 days. That's how long it takes to get back to the same position relative to the sun. So if you note where they were on the zodiac strip has changed, but where they are, their configuration relative to the sun is exactly the same. We are back to superior conjunction when the planet is on the opposite side of the sun from the Earth. So there'll be a number of different exercises. It will have you change the planets and measure uh, the various periods there and answer some questions. So that concludes this video on the uh, solar system models simulator and the planetary configuration simulator. We'll be back again next time to look, another, look at another one of these simulations. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.